Hello everyone, chapter 5 material and things. Uh, in our daily life, we use uh, so many products which are made up of uh, materials of different types and based on the uh, material used in making of those products, uh, the materials are classified into metals, polymers, ceramics, glass, fiber, glass, semiconductors and it can be used uh, single or in a combination. Means a metal can be, uh, from a metal can a uh, product can be made or in combination uh, metal can be combined with ceramics or a polymers and a different product can be formed and uh, we get a different type of material and in combination of three also gives the composite from which uh, fiberglass can be prepared and uh, in uh, papers also we have different types of papers like newspaper magazine paper mixed paper cardboard paper office paper and in metals also we have different types of metals like steel tin case uh, tin cans aluminium cans and in glasses also we have glass jar and in plastics also we have a PET uh, plastics and HDPE plastics and these are the materials or uh, these are the products which are made up of different materials uh, this can is made up of metal and glass uh, is made up of glass and this uh, uh, product is made up of plastic fabric concrete wood ceramic and rubber and uh, these are the uh, materials from which different types of uh, projects or the objects can be made uh, from wood chair table bloggers uh, and etc can be made paper with paper or newspaper notebooks toys uh, and so many things can be prepared with paper and from leather uh, shoes belts purses jackets suitcase bags can be uh, prepared um, and uh, can be made uh, and from plastics uh, uh, bucket chairs uh, tables bags briefcase uh, lunch boxes can be made from uh, cotton cloths bed sheets uh, cushion bags etc and from iron chairs, table stores, bathroom fittings, mesh, wheels and uh, so many things can be made with uh, iron and certain uh, um, products are uh, recyclable and certain products are not recyclable and uh, all the materials have a certain type of filling if you touch these all these things you will have a this type of filling and if you touch a wood you will feel its uh, hardness and uh, sponge with spongy and if you see woolen or a cotton you will feel uh, softness and bumpy fuzzy and bumpy oozy and they, if you use a for uh, so, soft and spiky like that comes under materials properties of materials so this is an example of uh, if we are reached hard and strong what type of material comes in our mind that is wood so a table is a ridge so it can hold things on top if it was flexible everything will fall and uh, flexible what comes in our mind that is a shoes a shoe is flexible so i can put my foot in and i can walk it would be very difficult to uh, walk in rigid shoes and transparent means obviously glass a bus shelter is transparent so passengers can see the bus coming uh, glass also keeps rain and snow uh, from coming in and uh, these are the activities in your test book and uh, they have given a certain um, products uh, or the objects uh, and you have to write the uh, from which uh, material it has been prepared door can be prepared from wood towel from fabric bicycle from iron knife from steel or um, metal any metal iron mirror from glass shoes from leather water bottle from plastic and pot from mud and this is the activity too uh, here they have given a material from material you can uh, write so many uh, things or the objects away from which these materials can be prepared i have uh, shown you in the from here you can write it down from uh, wood uh, and so many materials from paper leather plastic cottons and iron you can write all these uh, objects uh, in this uh, from metals uh, you can prepare the utensils and so many other things uh, from plastic like that uh, sorry each uh, product possess some uh, certain properties uh, uh, as well as uh, the properties of the object uh, or the material should be used for making an object uh, some materials are soft and some are hard uh, so based on the properties of the materials a certain type of uh, which can be comfortable to in use uh, products are made some are shiny whereas some are non shiny depending on these properties materials are used for different purposes transparency the first i will say, show you what is transparency so we have translucent, transparent and opaque. Uh, see, uh, if you have want to find out which is translucent, transparent and opaque, you have to take uh, objects or different objects. Uh, let's take these three glasses. And if you uh, light a torch, 
if all the light passes through it it is uh, a transparent means this glass and if only certain amount of light is passing through it so it is a translucent object and if nothing uh, no light is passing through it so it is a opaque object so based on that you have to, uh, they have given a, a object names so you have to write whether it is a opaque transparent or translucent uh, translucent object so plastic is a plastic may be a opaque or a transparent or a um, uh, uh, translucent glass jar uh, is a transparent steel is a opaque plate is a opaque based on the material from which material it has been made and mirror are transparent wooden doors are opaque polythene banks may be opaque or transparent or a translucent paper are uh, opaque and if we, if we drop a, for paper we have a activity let's see uh, for uh, whether paper is a transparent or a opaque or a translucent let's see uh, this uh, if you see a uh, if you take a piece of paper or a paper sheet and you if you see a sun you won't uh, see anything and uh, if you uh, take uh, if you drop a few drops of oil into the onto the paper you will see certain uh, blurish uh, blurish image so that is translucent and if you clearly see through it that is transparent if uh, it may be made up of plastic or transparent material so this is the experiment which uh, have been given here in activity 4 and uh, this uh, is a uh, um, candle candle experiment see here in this experiment you have to first uh, if it is a new new candle you have to touch the wick of a candle then it will light it up and after a few minutes you just blow it off uh, exhaust it and when the uh, this smoke is coming then you have to light it the candle from the distance you will observe see you can see here how the uh, fire is getting caught by the smoke and it is getting lighted from the distance but whereas when you first uh, you will light a candle you have to touch the wig but whereas here see the distance and uh, then too it is catching a fire because it may be in the form the wax has evaporating in the form of vapor and so that's why it is catching the fire and thus the wig of the candle has been lightened up and all these things are written here this experiment and in activity 6 uh, you have to uh, see the differences uh, you have to write the differences between solid liquids and gases and their properties there is a solid or a liquid because uh, so many students will have a um, confusion if we if they will dissolve a sugar into a water it will dissolve so whether it is a solid or a liquid but uh, this was explained by a uh, student that uh, if you take a uh, one grain of a uh, uh, sugar and uh, one drop of a uh, liquid it won't dissolve so thus with this experiment she can say that uh, sugar is a solid and whereas water is a liquid and uh, in uh, activity 7 you have to see which uh, products are sinkable and which are not sinkable means which can be sink into the water or uh, which are floating in on the water so you have to take uh, certain things like tomato, brinjal, potato, iron, nail, sponge, wood, stone, leaf, piece uh, of piece of chalk and paper. And uh, you have to uh, take a water and one by one you have to drop into the water. So you will see which uh, those uh, materials or the, those objects which are uh, sinking into the water are uh, sinkable and they, that will sink into the water and certain uh, objects will float onto the water like sponge or a leaf uh, uh, leaf and a piece of uh, piece of chalk also first it will uh, float and after absorbing the water it will sink into the water so based on that you have to write which are which products are sinking and which are not sinking and floating and in activity 6 uh, you have to do a uh, experiment with the iron object uh, whether it uh, it can be floated or not so you have to take a wide mounted ball and a iron nail in it you have to observe uh, you should observe that whether in an empty iron tin in, in that ball whether it will sink or not and uh, the wooden piece floats on water what happens when a wooden ball is dipped in water what do you conclude from this activity you have to see iron 
nail is uh, sinking into the water or floating and a wooden piece is floating or sinking based on that you have to write it uh, whether it is sinking or floating and uh, uh, in activity 9 you have to see we what are the things which are soluble in water and what are the things which are not soluble in water so we have seen uh, you have to see uh, what are the objects which can which are which can float on, on the top of the water and which are uh, sink into the water and, uh, and now we have to see the solubility of, uh, of with certain objects like sugar salt chalk powder and sand and uh, sawdust in a water you have to dissolve one by one that take five beakers and dissolve sugar it will dissolve uh, salt also dissolve in water chalk powder will also dissolve in water but uh, certain grains will um, after some time it will so the chalk powder grains will um, sit at the uh, sat at the bottom of the water and sand and dust also and also you have to uh, if those substances which are not dissolved in water you have to repeat the activity with the different liquids now you have used a water and those who, which are not dissolving in water you have to try it with another liquids like vinegar lemon juice coconut oil or kerosene and see here when uh, you take a beaker with water you you have to add all these things you will see uh, sugar will dissolve salt will dissolve and chalk powder after some time it will accumulate first it will dissolve after some time it will accumulate at the bottom of the jar and uh, sand will uh, not dissolve it will uh, and uh, sawdust will dissolve uh, to certain extent but it also after some time it will uh, set uh, the bottom of the jar now let's see the uh, uh, properties uh, what we have seen objects around us are made up of a large variety of materials based on their properties we use different materials for different purposes some materials such as glass are transparent some materials such as wood are opaque and materials like oily paper are translucent materials can exist in three important states as solid liquids and gases some materials sink in water and some materials can float on water some materials are soluble in water and some materials are insoluble in water Materials are grouped together on the basis of similarities and differences in their properties. Okay, thank you.